Across Western Europe, a sudden and profound chill has swept in, as if winter has leapt ahead in the calendar. Just days ago, cities from Madrid to London enjoyed mild weather. Now, the air bites and breath turns to mist. The sun shines but offers little warmth, and the cold seeps into the bones of old stone buildings. This isn't the slow onset of November cold. It's an abrupt, shocking arrival of deep winter. Headlines call it an Arctic blast, perfectly capturing the intensity of this cold wave. In Spain, frost laces olive groves. In the UK, the ground crunches underfoot. People walk briskly, shoulders hunched, faces wrapped in scarves, sharing a communal shiver across countries. This is more than a cold day. It's a glimpse into the immense machinery that governs our weather. The story begins in the remote Arctic and ends with frost crunching underfoot in Paris. Today, on November 23rd, 2025, Europe feels the Arctic's reach more keenly than ever. We are all, in this moment, connected by the breath of the far north. The chill, gripping Europe began far northwest, over Greenland's frozen expanse, a true refrigerator of the planet. Normally, this cold air is locked in place, but the atmosphere is always in motion. Recently, a high-pressure system built up over Greenland, pushing the frigid air southward. Instead of drifting toward North America, prevailing winds steered this air mass directly toward Western Europe. It crossed the North Atlantic, retaining its dense, dry and bitterly cold character. Its arrival wasn't gradual. It was a forceful displacement, a wedge of Arctic air pushing out the milder air. Meteorologists tracked its journey, predicting the sharp drop in temperatures and the risk of snow. For those on the ground, the first sign was a biting wind from the north, then clear skies and plunging thermometers. The air now chilling Berlin and France was swirling over Greenland just days ago. This event is a testament to the incredible distances weather can travel. Europe's sudden freeze is the result of a remarkable atmospheric journey. The Arctic's influence is never far away. To understand this Arctic invasion, we must look high into the atmosphere at the polar vortex. The polar vortex is a vast, spinning mass of cold, low-pressure air above the poles, most powerful in winter's darkness. It acts as a barrier, keeping the coldest air locked in the Arctic. The boundary is the polar night jet stream, fast winds racing around the Arctic Circle. As long as this jet stream is strong, Europe stays mild, shielded from the pole's extreme cold. The vortex isn't a storm on the ground, but a persistent feature high above. We don't feel it directly, but its changes shape our weather. When the vortex weakens, the cold escapes, reaching thousands of miles away. This is the key to sudden, extreme cold snaps. The polar vortex is the Arctic's gatekeeper. When the gate opens, winter rushes in. The polar vortex isn't always stable. It can wobble, stretch or split, often triggered by warm air surging north. This disruption, called sudden stratospheric warming, destabilizes the vortex and sends the jet stream into wild loops. These loops, or Rossby waves, allow Arctic air to plunge southward, escaping its polar home. That's what's happened now. A southward dip in the jet stream has opened a direct channel for Greenland's cold to flood Western Europe. The Arctic's barrier has been breached and polar weather now grips the continent. Meanwhile, other regions at similar latitudes may experience unusual warmth as the cold is redistributed. The planet's atmosphere is always seeking balance, shifting heat and cold across the globe. The breakdown of the polar vortex is a dramatic example of this dynamic. Europe's freeze is not just a local event, 
it's part of a global atmospheric dance. The cold isn't gone, it's simply moved. The world's weather is always in motion. This is the story behind Europe's sudden chill. In Spain, the Arctic air's arrival has been especially striking. In the high plains, mornings are breathtakingly cold, minus four or five degrees Celsius, far below the November norm. Clear, calm nights and dry air accelerate the cooling, leading to thick ice on windscreens and a crystalline frost on everything. This is radiation frost, where the ground and objects freeze faster than the air. Farmers scramble to protect late crops and citrus groves, using smudge pots or irrigation to shield plants from frost. The cold snap is a stark reminder of Spain's diverse climate, where the interior is exposed to continental extremes. A frost-covered olive tree stands in sharp contrast to Spain's sunny image. The morning air carries a message from the far north, deep penetrating cold. Trating. In the UK, the Arctic blast has transformed late autumn. The usual damp chill is replaced by a sharper, drier cold. Skies are clearer and the air feels invigorating. People bundle up in thick coats, hats and gloves, and the first real freeze dominates conversation. Countryside scenes are painted white with heavy frost, and even city routines shift. Gritting lorries roll out. Gardeners rush to protect plants. The stillness is striking calm air, distant sounds, and a crisp purity to the mornings. This isn't just another British winter. It's a reminder of how air masses shape the season. Today, the Arctic is the visitor, bringing its quiet, sharp cold. The UK braces for a true taste of polar winter. While Spain and the UK shiver with frost, the Alps are blanketed in snow. As Arctic air rises over the mountains, it cools and releases moisture as the season's first major snowfall. Ski resorts from France to Switzerland celebrate heavy accumulations, kick-starting the winter sports season. The snow is a result of orographic lift. Mountains wring moisture from the cold air, making snowfall widespread and deep. Even lower villages see snow, not just rain. For the Alps, this snow is vital. It insulates plants and animals and will feed Europe's great rivers in spring. The first snow is more than a spectacle. It's a crucial deposit in the continent's water bank, all set in motion by a wobble in the polar vortex. The deep cold triggers ancient survival strategies in nature. Birds fluff their feathers for insulation and frantically search for food to fuel their bodies through sub-zero nights. Squirrels rely on hidden stores, while deer and foxes seek shelter and grow thicker coats. The cold narrows their world to food, water and warmth. Survival becomes the focus. Trees shed leaves or protect needles with waxy coatings. Life in the soil retreats below the frost line. The ecosystem enters conservation mode, waiting for warmth's return. This cold snap is a test. Only the most resilient plants and animals will thrive come spring. It's a harsh but essential part of nature's cycle. The shiver we feel is a faint echo of the challenge facing the rest of nature. Survival is the order of the day. As Europe settles into this deep freeze, the question is, how long will it last? Forecasters say the Arctic air could linger for days or even weeks, making sub-zero mornings and snow a daily reality. Energy use will spike testing power grids, while transport faces disruption from snow and ice. It's a time for preparation, checking on neighbours, insulating homes and bracing for more cold.
meteorologists watch the polar vortex, waiting to see if it stabilizes or remains weak, which could mean more cold outbreaks. This may be just the start of a volatile winter shaped by atmospheric forces high above. The Arctic blast is a lesson in interconnectedness, local weather shaped by global forces. As we wrap up and watch our breath in the cold, we're feeling the Arctic's reach. This is the awe-inspiring breath of the polar regions, touching lives across a continent.